What's up guys, Genius Pie Trap, and this is my series Best of the Rift, and this is Titans of Space for the Oculus Rift, and this is a tech demo of our solar system in space, and it's pretty amazing. You know, I can, I'm looking at the planet Earth here, as you can see. I can, uh, whoop, 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 let's see here. Bring up some facts here somehow. Oh, here we go. Welcome, please sit back and relax when ready. And I'm using the 360 controller to control this, which is just pressing the A button and you just fly around from planet to planet kind of thing. And, you know, all what this is, is flying around our solar system. As you can see here, the sun. I'm looking up at the sun and, you know, it's just huge. If I turn right, I'm looking back at the Earth. I can see Jupiter in the background there. And, you know, man, how small Earth is c compared to space. It's just unbelievable. You know, you think Earth is a big place, and man, it's just it's just a nothing but a little point on the map. You know, it's... Uh, we got Mercury, and again, this is just very interesting stuff. It's uh, you know, at Mercury. I look down, and I can see some, you know, facts about Mercury: the diameter, the distance from the sun, um, the size of it. It's 0.06 Earth. It's the pla smallest planet in the solar system. And I just hit the button, and I kind of fly around, do a little circle around it, and I think we'll take a stop at Venus here. It's kind of neat too. I can look down. I can see my legs and my hands sitting in my lap. Uh, Venus tells the distance from the sun. Earth's a little bit bigger than uh, Venus. It's the hottest planet in the solar system. It's pretty interesting. And again, you know, man, I mean, just look at the size of Jupiter compared to Earth. It's pretty incredible. Earth, Jupiter, Sun. You know, I've uh, I've seen plenty of models of space in our solar system. I've played video games. I've seen movies. And none of that has, you know, really gave me the aspect of size like the Oculus Rift has in this Titans of Space. I mean, it's just unbelievable. You know, looking at this and the size of everything. You know, I, I think I've learned more about... Uh, space and our solar system from this than anything from any books you know or just the to grasp it you know I, I don't think I've grasped you know how enormous everything is and how small earth is until I've seen this we got Mars you can, I can even see the uh, you know craters and stuff on Mars pretty neat man look at Jupiter it's just Enormous. All right, Sirius. It's uh, one of our dwarf planets. Uh, it's the largest asteroid and one of our five dwarf planets. Spacecraft Dawn is en route for first close look in 2015. There we go. And again, so we got Spacecraft Dawn going all the way from Earth all the way there. It's pretty neat. And Jupiter, what a beautiful planet and, and just enormous you know I, I, I've read you know how it's bigger than earth but uh, until you see and I've seen models but until you this the way I'm looking at it now is incredible um, it's 1321 earths and has 67 plus moons amazing 67 plus moons. Looks like here we're going to look at uh, four of the moons. But, uh, you know, this uh, interactive software, I guess you call it, because it's not really a game. I mean, I'm not uh, shooting anything. There's no score. But, uh, you know, it's just really neat, and uh, what it's, uh, this could be an incredible teaching tool. Again, I, I have never been more interested in space until 
I've put this uh, Oculus Rift on and uh, started up this demo. It's quite incredible. You know, and uh, it kind of goes on from here, giving you facts. And spoiler alert, I guess, you even go outside of our solar system and uh, take a peek at a few stars beyond our the sun. And, you know, that just really makes it uh, how just how big our universe is it's it's quite incredible you know if there's uh <laughs> if there's no life out there it's quite a feat you know i think there's better chance of life being somewhere out in the universe you know i mean just the sun is you know way back there we're now we're looking at the saturn the rings of saturn gonna get some facts about saturn i won't bore you guys with it all but uh yeah you know and uh, i think you guys kind of get the idea of what goes on and, you know, man, if you have an Oculus Rift, I definitely suggest you check it out. If uh, you plan on getting an Oculus Rift, you know, write this down. Make sure you uh, download it. Uh, try it out when you get the chance to. It's uh, very, very, very neat. And look at the size of that moon. It's Titan. It's huge. That's Mim that's uh Mimis, the one known as uh representing the Death Star, that one on the end there. I should have stopped so you guys could look at it. But you can really see the detail in all of this. Look at Titan. If I can look back, you know, like I look at back. Oh, I can't see the Earth from here. I was wondering how that compared to the Earth, maybe it'll tell us. It is the only known moon with a substantial atmosphere it has liquid methane lakes. The largest of Saturn's moons it has wispy ice cliffs. Incredible. You know, and I can see the the shadow of Saturn on its rings. It's incredible, just incredible. And I really wish. Uh, I can't wait till this uh, comes out, so more people can just uh, experience this. But I, I really. You know, this Oculus Rift, uh, I really can see this used as a teaching tool. As, you know, just so much more than games, I guess. And it makes everything so much more interesting. Here's Uranus. Insert your favorite Uranus joke here. So we got some stars, a quick buzz through these, or I'm sorry, stars, moons. And they kind of all line them up like so. It's amazing, 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 amazing. And we got Neptune. got 13 known moons looks like I'm looking at one of them right now a couple of them I guess oh no maybe we oh, yeah, have Triton and you know again I can see the the detail and it looks so dimensional it looks like I just you know it looks like I'm in a spaceship floating in space or that's you know the appearance I have I mean this is you know I don't want to cut my sh self short in life but uh, this will be the closest I get to being up in space probably to Pluto you know in my lifetime anyway I'd be very surprised if in my lifetime I people are getting past Pluto but you never know and, you know again little little earth just a just a dot in our universe, not even a speck of dust. I mean, there it is. You know, you compare that to everything, and man, how insignificant. And there's the sun. 1.3 million Earths make up the sun is the size. 4.57 billion years old. 
power output 100 billion H bombs per second. Amazing. And, you know, like I said, here's the Pollux back there. I mean, look at this. I mean, the, you know, that thing is out there. That makes our sun just look so teeny tiny. Amazing. It's 2,854 suns, the volume. The power output is 43 suns. Amazing. Just incredible. I mean, you know, our sun, our sun, which looked so huge before, now just looks n like nothing. I mean, look at that. We are so insignificant. Pollux is confirmed to have a planet orbiting it. That planet is 2.3 times the size of Jupiter. So, that, you know how I was commenting on how huge Jupiter is. There's a planet orbiting Pollux that is 2.3 times the size of that. Amazing. And, you know, past that? How beautiful is that? How incredibly amazing. And, uh, you know, I, I'll admit to you guys, I am no space expert. And, uh, but, man, and I, I do enjoy space somewhat, but this, I'm telling you, this Oculus Rift really just piqued my interest in space. It's, you know, I found myself uh, going on Wikipedia and, you know, just looking up stuff. Blue white supergiant, brightest star in constellation Orion. It's 1.7, the volume is 1.7 million suns. I mean, look at that. Look at our sun. And then we got Vicanus Majoris. Look at that. I can't even see all the way. I mean, our sun is just a blip compared to that thing. Amazing. 12 billion suns. The volume is 12 billion suns. A absolutely incredible. 10 million years old. 3,840 light years away from our sun. Amazing. And it's nearing the end of its life cycle. It is expected to explode in the next 100,000 years, leaving behind a black hole. Incredible. Incredible. And, you know, the demo kind of goes on for here, showing a couple more things and just... Uh, kind of the orbits of our planet and things like that. But I'm going to end it here and, you know, I hope you guys uh, get to experience this sometime. It's just a, an amazing representation of space and our solar system and, man, everything out there. And I'll tell you what, incredible. Hope you guys like, um, subscribe. If you guys want me to check out anything more for the Oculus Rift, uh, let me know in the comments. Or shoot me an instant message. And hope you enjoy. Genius Pie Trap, over and out.